Now in this section, we're going to look at using columns within Word. Now, if I just scroll down here, you can see this document is basically using the default single column mode all the way through. We'll go back up to the top again. Now, if I just click somewhere within this document, I can apply uh, sort of two or three columns to the entire document. If you click on the Layout tab here, within the uh, Page Setup section here, you've got Columns. So if I click on where it says Columns here on the down arrow, I can apply two column formatting, which would look like that. So that applies to the entire document, as you can see, including the header up here. If we go here, if we want three column formatting, I just click there. And as you can see, the whole thing is now formatted to three columns all the way through. You know, if I scroll down the document, you can see it applies to the whole document. If I go here, I can have left columns, which looks like this, which basically means you've got a small column here and a large column there. And if I want to, I can apply the same thing to the right, which will look like this. So as I say, that is applying uh, column formatting to the entire document. If I want to go back to the single column uh, layout, I just click there and as you can see, it's now formatted as a single column. Let's say you wanted this bit up here, the, the title within the document to be one column, but let's say you wanted literally everything else to be two column mode. I can select everything else, so I'll go down to the bottom there press the shift key and then click at the end there and that will select everything. So basically everything apart from the title has been selected. Now if I go up here and do two columns, you can see the title stays where it is and the two column formatting is just applied to the selected text. Obviously if I wanted three columns, I click there. Left would look like that and right would look like that. Now you can also change the column spacing and the column width. So for instance, again, if I select the entire main part of the document here, then if I go to where it says column, more columns, let's go for a three column layout and apply it. It'll look like this. Now, if you want to, you can um, change both the width of the columns and also the spacing. And the way you do that is to go to Columns here, go to More Columns. And if you wanted, say, um, a wider width, we'll set that to uh, set it to 5, so it looks like. No, it won't let us go because there's not enough space. OK, let's bring it down a bit to, uh, say, 3.5. We'll click on OK. And as you can see, that's changed the column width. If I press Control Z, which remember is the uh, undo key, what I can do is I can go back here, go back to more columns, and say, well, we'll leave that at, say, 4.04. .04. In fact, no, let's bring it down to exactly 4. Um, click on OK so you can see what it's looking like. If I go back to columns here, go to more columns, and we'll just move that to one side so we can see what we're doing. Let's say you wanted to increase the spacing between the columns. So at the moment it's uh, 1.32. Let's say you want to take that up to, say, 2. If I click on OK, you can see what happens. The spacing between the columns has increased. Let's go back and make that, whoops, let's go back, back and make that slightly larger. So we go here and we'll go for a spacing of, say, 3, just to illustrate the effect. As you can see, we've got very, very large spaces between the columns. If I press Control Z just to undo all that for a moment so you can see what, what, uh, what we're doing, I'll go back here, go back to more columns, and there are other things you can do. So, for instance, you can um, say, let's go for, say, that one there and apply that. So we've got formatting like that. Let's say you wanted to change that at a stroke to equal columns. What you could do is go here, go here, and what you can do is you can set uh, equal columns. The way you do that is you click on here, click on and you can see a preview there. So as you can see, you've got equal column widths. If we go back here, there are other things you can do. So go to more columns again. Let's say you wanted a line between them. You can see there's a preview of what it's going to look like. If I click on OK, we've now got a line between them. If 
we change that to, say, three column mode, we've got a line between all three. Now, something else we can do is we can insert column breaks. Now, at the moment, if we just go down here, you can see that this column starts here and it goes down here. Let's say you wanted uh, this to be forced up to the top of the next column for some reason. What I can do is I can click here, and then within the layout uh, tab here, you go to the page set out uh, section, and you see where it says breaks. If I click on where it says breaks, I can insert what's called a column break. So look what happens. You see, it forces that column to break there and go up to here. So let's say I wanted to do the same with this one. So I wanted this at the top of the column over here. I would click just before it, go to breaks, go to column break, or just columns in fact, and there you are. So even though you can't see it, you've got a column break there which just forces you up here, and you've got a column break there which forces you up there. If you go back to the Home tab and click here where it says Show Hide, you can actually see those column breaks being displayed. So let's say for sake of argument you want to get rid of this one. I would just click there, press the Delete key, and I've deleted it. Same here. I could click here, press Delete, and then be back the way it was. Do remember to click on here again so you switch that feature off, and now you can see the document as it's going to be printed. So always remember, you know, if you want to insert a column break, do it one more time. You click here, you go to layout, you go to breaks, you go to column, and there you are. And if we want to see that column, or see that column break, you click here, you click here, and you can actually see it. And I'll say to get rid of them, you just click in front of it there, press delete, and it's gone. So that's columns, very simple to use, but they really improve the sort of look of the documents. If you're doing some sort of, you know, quick tips or quick um, hints or something like that, then a sort of a three column layout like this, it just looks better basically. And as you can see, it's been applied to the whole document. Incidentally, if you wanted to um, decide that you wanted to have maybe from there down to the end, in a two column layout, what I've done is I've selected the rest of the document there. So let's go back up here and see what we're doing. So from here, so I want that to remain in three column mode. If I want this bit in, say, two column mode, just a selected bit, again, I would go to layout, go to columns, select two column mode, and as you can see, you've got three columns there and two columns here. So always remember you can um, select part of your document and apply column formatting just to the selected part of the document.